And the space that we're renovating is the basement. I want this renovation to be a surprise for my mom. If my mom doesn't like it, somebody's in big trouble. This is the start of a big week for us. My mom came to stay with me in LA, and Mark is getting to work on our surprise renovation. Now, my mom has no clue what's going on, so she's going to be floored. Since I'm in California and the house is thousands of hey, miles away in Hello. Iowa, hey, we're using Lester the technology of the house and plan every single detail. We even use the app to find our local to designer, Catherine. Mike, hey. How you doing? Good to oh, see you. Yeah. So, I got some final plans we can kind of go through. Let's do this. Perfect. OK. Because my parents live in a ranch-style home, we need to use this space wisely. Every square inch is going to be valuable. Our plan is to reconfigure the layout. So we're going to use my favorite idea book images as the guide. We're going to knock down walls. We're going to lift up the drop ceiling. And we're going to move non-essential furniture, like the TV, out of the way. We're also saving space by installing pocket doors. They tuck into the wall and add an average of 10 square feet of floor space per door. Well, let's talk about the main focal area in the room. Fireplace and TV wall. What we're talking about doing is two big 40 inch wide by... Four foot wide, 48 inch window. Okay. okay. And it'll be six foot high Perfect. overall. We got two of those, right. so we're going to get lots of great light. Right now, our basement is really dark. There aren't a lot of light fixtures, and the only light that comes in is from two small windows. So we're going to change all that by adding larger windows, putting in a big glass door, and installing recessed lighting throughout. I was also really inspired by the fireplace photos that I saw in house. So we're going to build a fireplace. I think it'll really warm things up, and I think it'll be a great centerpiece that'll bring the family together. How am I going to watch TV with all that light shining in? I'm glad you asked that. OK, here's what we're going to do. I think what we're going to do is black out shades, and we're going to do them on a remote. So sitting there. Yeah, right here. These recliners. No, no, these handy no, 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 no. dandy, nice no, little no, recliners. No, no, no. Uh, As you know, Ashton posted a poll on House, and I don't know how that's come back yet. So we'll see. Ashton's got like a million followers. How am I going to get? Everybody stick up for the old man. That's what you know, I say. If it's meant to be, it'll happen. I say stick up for the old man. <laughs> I've been sitting in my recliner for years. I'm counting on the common sense people of the world to save the recliner. We have to save the recliner. Then we've got the shrunken down utility cabinet. Is this the prize? That's the salsa. This is Diane's stash. Yep. She takes a lot of pride in this. Send salsa all over the country. Here's what I was thinking and what we talked about, which Ashton really liked. They just deserve a nicer place to be displayed. We were really going to set this up like a wine cabinet, OK? My mom's favorite hobby is canning salsa. So we're going to build a cellar for her to display all of her hard work. Here's my vision. Deep stained wood, hidden under shelf lighting, and a full glass door with blinds that can be drawn to block out extra light, like a wine cellar. But more salsa. OK, so let's move into the dungeon area. This is the guest room down here. No windows, dark, dreary, which is why the new guest bedroom is going to be awesome, because not only does it have extra windows, it's also got built-in bunk beds for the grandkids. Absolutely. This has been a busy year for my parents. My sister just had a baby. I just had my daughter. So these new sleeping quarters couldn't have come at a better time. The plan is to move the bedroom to the exterior wall so we can have a window, which will let in some sunlight. And we're also adding bunk beds, which I think the grandkids will love. OK, so we got a lot to do. I don't have nothing to do. <laughs> so I... Mike and I got a lot to do. But next, I'm we, going have fishing. Got, we have got to get this space emptied. All right. All right, so let's move it. Let's go. That would be easy. All right. So what I did was I brought some simple tags, green stays, Orange goes. OK, give me the green ones. Uh, they're equal. Oh, uh, no. Let's go into the Duke area. OK. You have a lot of Duke items, so let's try to slim it down a little bit. Right. What do you think? OK. That one, non-negotiable, authenticated, original signature, okay. Stan. OK. I've been a John Wayne fan since I can't remember not being one. But I want to keep that one. But that being said, I probably don't need doubles on the wall. So I will give that ground. This one 
It's the same as the small one. Pull this one off. I'm sure the dude could understand. OK, Mark, so I think we're going to be here all night if we tag team this. Are you comfortable with me taking the lead by myself? Absolutely. I'm tagging stuff that's not staying in my house, right? Yes. There's one. Ah, <sighs> Mark. Mark, what are you doing over there? I see a lot of green. Uh, just putting the green ones on the good yeah, stuff. Yeah, I think we already went over that area. Uh, yeah, we went over it kind of quick. All right, though. move along. Uh okay, here All we right. go. Today's a big day. Mike's brought his crew in. We're gonna start some demolition and uh, we're gonna have some fun. All right, get your stuff. Let's start this wall. Trash trailer. I don't care how old you are, demolishing stuff is just plain old fun. Cotton candy. <laughs> Careful, ninja. All right, Tiny, let's see if you can knock this down without taking half the day. Lightweight, lightweight, hit it. Get out of pinata. Biggest guy here, lightest swing. <laughs> now that the old space has been demolished, it's time for Mark and the crew to get going on the new basement. I just want to do a one final check-in, just to make sure that it's the way that it should be. Our plan is to reconfigure the layout. Now, my mom has no clue what's going on, so she's going to be floored. Now that the old space has been demolished, it's time for Mark and the crew to get going on the new basement. They're gonna start by framing out the exterior wall and prepping it for a couple new windows. Temporary structure's going up, now we're gonna blow this out. Yeah. Cool, okay. Now, talk to me about what colors Diane likes. Oh, that's mine. Hey! What's up? What's happening? Uh, who knows? Was Catherine there? Yeah, Catherine. Hey. I heard that we were whittling down the John Wayne collection. Yeah, I had to really slap his hand on that. He's not as flexible as he may have led you to believe on that deal. Well, I don't have a picture of no other famous people to put up. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> I don't have a picture of you. <laughs> it's, All right. a, it's a process. So, uh, Mark, we did a poll uh, uh -huh. on Howes regarding whether or not we should have a recliner. Yeah. <laughs> Who won? So 685 of those people voted one way, and like 100 people voted the other way. And the verdict is? Almost 700 people want you to have a recliner. Ah! America is smart. I knew in the end the community would pull through for me. 
there are a lot of people out there that just appreciate a nice, comfortable chair. You're really surprised about the outcome of this, aren't you? Well, if we can go from seven recliners yes. down to one recliner, I'm happy to give you a recliner. I just don't want 10 of them. That's all I want. I'm, I want my recliner. All right. Well, I hope you're happy with everything. Yeah, I can't wait for her to see it. I think she's going to freak out. You're coming when? I'm coming when I'm coming. All right. You get it done. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. All right. Give your mom Thank a hug you. and kiss for me. All right. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. The thing about redoing the basement is it's something that we built together as a family. So as far as just tearing it down, that part's tough. But I think it'll be better for everybody. Get to start moving forward to something new. You don't have to be around Diane and the kids very long to understand that her kids are her life. And I'm just fortunate to be a part of it. Diane deserves this more than anyone I can think of. And I can't wait to surprise her. Mark. Hey, how are you? Hey, good. What's going on? Picking the wood off the windows. Good to see you. All right. Awesome. Here they are. Are the crews here ready to put yep, them in? They're ready. Let's do it. Steve on it. We're in the last stretch of this project, and the end is finally in sight. I'm coming home to make sure everything's on track, but I think the project's coming along. I just want to do a one final check-in before the last details get put in, just to make sure that it's the way that it should be. Mark, I think you got the box with the glassware in it, obviously. The antique the collectibles. <laughs> The antiques. What the game plan is for these items is to display them very nicely, or they will light up, sparkle, glimmer glamour. I think Diane's gonna love that. This is not me. I'm the hammer and nails guy. Decorating is not my thing. I think I'm moving faster than you are. You know where all the shit goes. What? No, I'm just unpacking <laughs> stuff. Knock, knock. Hey. Home? Hey. Wow. <laughs> wow. What do you think? Yeah, it looks like a real, like, like a room. Like a real room. Rail? Hey. Rail? How's it going? Welcome home. Wow. This looks yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, awesome. yeah. Welcome um, back. That's that doesn't look like the piano that I had no. when I was a kid, but it yeah. is the piano that but it's not, but it is. There you have it. Wow. It's great. Cool. All it right. looks great. It's awesome. This okay. is amazing. Look at the light coming in. It's just wow. It's exactly what we talked about. Like it's open, there's a light coming in. Yeah, it, it's now it's become a space that you want to be in. It's like a whole different space. It is. Mom is going to love this. OK, good. Now let's go move some furniture. All right. You got a good grip? Yeah. Now I can't see nothing. You can't see nothing. Just stay upright, will you? For some reason, I think like people expect like once you become an actor, you don't know how to do any kind of manual labor at all. So I really just lifted the couch to prove that I could still lift things. Where do we want to go here? I don't know, but we were going to go somewhere. <clears throat> Hold on one second. Hey, Catherine, 
Come here. Well, yeah, we figured we got it this far. You want to get it the rest of the way? Well, I have the blister, right? Yeah, so you got, so the, you you got the rest of the way? So you guys can pack it up. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Where do you want this thing to go? You might have to bring that through the back. Ain't no way. That door's narrower than that one. OK. But then you'll have to tilt it up and rotate it. It won't go through that door. It appears that the door is not large enough to fit the couch, so that's an issue. You're going to have to take this upstairs down the stairs, and that's going to be the only way you're going to get down there. Yeah. Well, why the hell we bring the couch all the way down here? <laughs> Who's running all this right. monkey show? Seriously. Right. I ain't kidding. <laughs> Guys. so hard now, was it? It wasn't so hard for you. Hey, Mark, I'm home. Where are you at? I'm in the basement. Come down, I need your help. 